friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Sunday. It is not only Sunday, but it is the day of the very, very, very long awaited Ninja Creamy video. The last couple of Sundays I've posted my Q and A's. You guys have been loving those and thank you again for everybody who asked questions. I will link those two videos down below. So it is now time, it is now time for Ninja Creamy Ice Cream video. I am sharing five recipes with you. All are WW friendly, calorie friendly, and loaded with protein. Oh and delicious. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload lots and lots of new videos every week, five to be exact. And check out the description box. I will link all the recipes, the Ninja Creamy Ice Cream Maker. I will find the cheapest one, the most affordable one, and link that down below for you. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching. I can't recommend macros, calories enough. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability. And last but not least, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So we have ice cream to make. And in fact, we have a taste test with Troy. So let's jump in. So we're going to start making ice cream. We're gonna do five different kinds of high protein, low point, low calorie ice cream. With the Ninja Creamy, you have to prepare your ice cream base a day ahead so you can throw it in the freezer and have it freeze solid. So I have five of the little Ninja Creamy containers. You do receive two with your Ninja Creamy and then I ordered a three pack off of Amazon. So I'll link those down below for you. And another thing I grabbed off of Amazon is the food flavoring oils. So this is what they look like. They're just little tiny bottles of different flavored oils. So apple, raspberry, coconut, chocolate, green tea. You can use these in your ice cream bases. If you want to use maybe a vanilla protein shake or chocolate protein shake, you can add in one of these oils to change up the flavor. These are from the brand Nomeka Food Flavoring. So I'll link these two. All of this is off of Amazon. So let's get started on our first ice cream base. So the first ice cream we're going to make, I am super, super excited about. Now you can make ice cream just with a protein shake, but you need some type of thickener or stabilizer. So my favorite thing to use is sugar-free pudding mix. I find that it gives it a nice flavor, nice consistency. So we are doing a cherry pie ice cream. You're going to need a vanilla protein shake of your choice. I have the Alani Fit Shakes. I also have the Muscle Milk No Sugar Added Vanilla Shakes. I love both of those. I will link all of the protein shakes that I talk about and that I use in my ice cream in the description box for you as well. But for this particular one, we're going to do the Alani Vanilla. And then you're going to need a can of No Sugar Added Cherry Pie Filling and some sugar-free vanilla pudding. That's it, these recipes are super simple for how amazing the ice cream is. So super simple, we're going to add our Alani or whatever vanilla protein shake you're using to your ice cream pint. We're adding one third cup of the cherry pie filling and then one tablespoon of vanilla sugar-free pudding mix. And then you want to give that a good stir. Just make sure that pudding mix is mixed really well. And anything else that you add to it, whether it be fresh fruit or whatever you're adding in with the protein shake, make sure that it is mixed together really well. And that's it. We have cherry pie ice cream. We're going to throw the lid on that. And then that actually gets put into the freezer for about 24 hours. Our next ice cream is going to be raspberry cheesecake protein ice cream. I know you don't see any raspberries because those go in at the very end after our mix is frozen. So let me show you what you'll need for the ice cream base. You're going to need some unsweetened almond milk, vanilla protein powder of your choice. I would recommend Devotion Angel Food Cake. It's probably the best for any type of baking or ice cream, but I have this integrated nutrition on hand. I'll link them both down below for you. You'll need some sweetener, and as always, I am using Lakanto. That will also be in the description box with 15% off. You'll need some sugar-free cheesecake pudding, one-third less fat cream cheese, and then a low-fat cottage cheese. So to put this one together, we need one cup of almond milk, two tablespoons of sugar-free cheesecake pudding mix, two tablespoons of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener, tablespoon of our low-fat cream cheese, 
and two tablespoons of cottage cheese. And then I think for fun, we're gonna pop in a tiny bit of this raspberry food flavoring. Literally a tiny, tiny bit. And then we need to add in one scoop of vanilla protein powder. And whenever I have a cream cheese base or a base that has a decent amount of pudding, more than a tablespoon or so, and protein powder, I like to use my little handheld frother to mix it because we want to make sure everything is mixed really well. The cream cheese, the protein powder, that way we don't have any clumps when we go to run it through, when we run our base through our Ninja Creamy. So I'm going to give it a quick mix and I will put my little handheld frother down below too. Another amazing Amazon find that I use all the time. Another tip is you can throw your lid on and then give it a good shake too before you pop it into your freezer. But there's our raspberry cheesecake ice cream. Next we're making Chips Ahoy ice cream. I have heard this one is incredible. I mean, absolutely decadent and incredible. Three ingredients, super simple. So you're going to need some of the Ghost Chips Ahoy protein powder. This is one of my very, very favorite protein powders. It's incredibly delicious. And like I said, all of this will be down in the description box for you. You're going to need some oat milk and again, some sweetener. So we're adding one cup of oat milk, one teaspoon of Lakanto, and one scoop of ghost protein powder. And again, mix that up with your little handheld frother until fully mixed. Give it a quick shake. Ooh, you can see all the Chips Ahoy cookies in there. Oh, this one, I'm telling you, so good. So we're gonna pop it in the freezer. Next up, we have chocolate fudge ice cream. This one is a great base because it's so versatile. You could add so many mix-ins. I just can't wait to share with you all the mix-ins we're gonna do, but let me show you what's in our chocolate fudge ice cream. You're going to need some almond milk. You really could use any milk that you want. You could use low fat milk, fair life milk, almond milk, oat milk, whatever you would like. You'll need some chocolate protein powder. I'm just using the rest of my integrated nutrition, but like I mentioned previously, Devotion and their brownie batter would be ideal for this. It's just the best for this type of recipe, but I'm using up what I have on hand. You're going to need some sweetener, and again, I have Lakanto granulated. This time we're using a little bit of xanthan gum, which is a thickener, which works really good with this particular recipe to make it more fudge-like. And then some of the chocolate fudge sugar-free jello pudding mix. So we're adding one cup of almond milk, one tablespoon of chocolate fudge sugar-free pudding mix, one teaspoon of xanthan gum, one teaspoon of Lakanto, and one scoop of chocolate protein powder. Give that a good mix. And the best chocolate fudge ice cream base. And the last base is fall inspired, of course. We are doing pumpkin pecan ice cream. So let's take a look at what's in the base. First, you're going to need a Premier Protein Pumpkin Spice. You can also make this recipe using cottage cheese and pumpkin puree. I will put the additional recipe idea down in the description box for you. If you do not have the pumpkin premiere, you can do it a little bit different way, so I'll share that as well. You'll need some sweetener, some canned pumpkin, and some vanilla sugar-free pudding. I can't tell you how excited I am for this, so we're going to add our pumpkin premiere protein, one-third cup of pumpkin puree. This is just the 100% natural pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie filling. A teaspoon of Lakanto, and, and for fun, I have some pumpkin pie spice. I want to add about a teaspoon. I just decided to really amp up the pumpkin flavor. You guys know I love pumpkin anything. And then last but not least, one tablespoon of vanilla pudding mix. And we'll give that a quick mix. It smells incredible. It literally smells like pumpkin pie. Another addition you could make to this base if you wanted is add a little bit of vanilla extract, but since I use the vanilla pudding, I, we're gonna be just fine, but that is another option for you as well. And we have a pumpkin pecan ice cream base. The next day. So here's what the Ninja Creamy looks like. I actually shared this in a what I eat in a day. When I first got it, we actually made a protein shake ice cream in there, but I thought that I would show you quickly what it looks like. It comes in several colors. I picked up white. There are a lot of different types of ice creams you can make. So ice cream, sorbet, light ice cream, 
smoothie bowl, gelato, milkshake, and then this button right here is for mix-in. So we're gonna be adding quite a few different mix-in, so we'll re-spin it, adding with the mix-in button. Everything gets put into this handy-dandy little compartment down here. The lid is actually where the blade is that spins the ice cream, so the pint just sits right inside of here. So the first ice cream we're making is the pumpkin pecan. I'm super excited for this. It's funny because when it freezes, there's always this little mountain in the middle, especially if you use a protein shake. I don't know why it doesn't affect anything with the ice cream, but you are going to want to take your pints out of the freezer for about an, half of an hour or so, even up to an hour before you spin them. What I do is just throw them in the microwave for about two minutes, and that makes them just a little bit softer so that they'll spin easily. You're going to place it into the little pitcher and then lock your lid into place. You'll know when it's in place because there is an align button, so you'll know when your lid is on securely. So it is locked into place and ready to go into the ice cream maker. And then lock it into place in the Ninja ice cream maker, turn it on. So when you're ready, just twist it to the right and it locks into place, the lights turn on. And for this particular ice cream, we're using ice cream. And then the magic happens. It automatically turns off when it is done and then we're going to Hit the button on the side here to release the bowl. Pop it out. Hit the side button here and turn it to release the lid. So here is what we have so far, but we want to add in our mix-ins. You wanna take a good look at your ice cream and see how creamy it is. If it comes out a little bit more on the powdery side, you can add a little bit more of whatever liquid that you use. We use the Premier Protein Shake, so I would add just a tablespoon or two of almond milk, but this actually looks pretty good. So we're going to add in our mix-in, which is going to be two tablespoons of pecans. I'm going to dig a hole in the center. Just move your ice cream off to the side and you can check the consistency at this time as well and just see if it's the right consistency, which this actually looks pretty good. Add in your mix-ins right in the center, down the little hole you created. I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit of almond milk, about a tablespoon or so. Put your lid back on, and so this is when we're going to use mix-in. So pop it into place, hit the mix-in button, and it will automatically mix in our pecans. So here's our pumpkin ice cream with pecans. My gosh, it smells so good. You can see that it is the perfect ice cream consistency with all of those chopped pecans in there. Now, if you aren't able to eat the whole pint in one sitting, you can throw it back in your freezer. You do not have to re-spin it when you eat it again. Just let it sit out for a couple minutes and thaw. You also have the option to re-spin it again. Totally up to you. I generally don't. I just pull it out and let it thaw for a few minutes before I eat it. So let's give pumpkin pecan a taste test. Okay, so pumpkin pecan mm. really good it's really really good nice and creamy like ice cream should be I like the pecans for the added crunch very very pumpkin-y and you get a ton of protein I'll go ahead and put all the information points calories protein all of that here on the screen for you 10 out of 10. Next up is the raspberry cheesecake. Now this was the interesting one that had the cottage cheese and the cream cheese in it. So I'm excited to see how this tastes and if it makes it a little bit creamier. I'm going to spin this one on ice cream as well. So the raspberry cheesecake ice cream is spun. Ooh, that looks really good. This one, we're adding a couple of different mix-ins. So because it's raspberry cheesecake, we're going to add in some raspberries. This one has a little bit more room on top, so I'm not going to dig my little well. I'm just going to toss the raspberries on top. I would say about a half of a cup or so. And then what's really going to amp this up is we're going to mix in some of the Catalina Crunch Cinnamon Toast Cereal, and that's going to give the graham cracker crust vibe that is in a cheesecake. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup of the Catalina Crunch Cereal, pop the lid on, and give it a quick spin on mix-in. And here is the raspberry cheesecake. 
Oh my gosh, it smells super, super good. You can see that the raspberries got pretty pureed, but the cereal, the cinnamon cereal is just crushed up. So it's going to give it that texture and that little bit of crunch. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. This one's really good. It's super creamy. This is the one that has cottage cheese in it. Oh. Cottage cheese and cream cheese and then fresh raspberries. Yeah, good. Yum. Really good. Next up is the chocolate covered cherry. So this is the one that had the no sugar added cherry pie filling and the protein shake. So we're going to go ahead and spin this one on ice cream. So here is the cherry, chocolate covered cherry. You can see that it's a little bit more on the powdery side. So we need to do our mix in. So what I'm going to do is dig a little well down in the middle. We're going to add in a little bit of the sugar free cherry pie filling and about a tablespoon of Lily's chocolate chips. And then I'm going to put just a splash of milk just because it is a little bit on the powdery side. And then we're tossing this back in under mix in. Okay, this looks really good. Adding that little bit of milk definitely helped make it more like ice cream. The cherries are all mixed in. It looks super good. All right, let's try it. Mmm. That's very sweet. Okay, good. But it tastes really good. It's not as sweet as I was expecting it to be. If you don't like super, super sweet ice cream, I mean, it has really good flavor. You can taste the cherry, you can taste the chocolate chips, but also add a little bit of sweetener, but it is really, really good. Just not as sweet as the other ones. All right, another one done. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Look at that. It looks like a Frosty from Wendy's. Ooh, that looks so good. It's definitely a little bit more on that Frosty, airy, texture, which I'm betting is because we put in the xanthan gum, which is a little bit of a thickener. So you could eat it just as is, as chocolate fudge, but I'm actually going to add some of the Flavor & Company Salted Caramel Crunch Peanut Butter. This is just a powdered peanut butter. I'm going to throw in a couple of tablespoons and then spin it again on mixin' and see if we can get chocolate peanut butter. All right, chocolate fudge taste test. You will not see any more of Troy because he doesn't like chocolate. And the last two have chocolate in them. But like I said, this one is definitely a little bit more airy, a little bit more frosty-like because of the xanthan gum. Now you can admit that because the pudding, as you saw in the other recipes, made it nice and thick anyways. This just changes the texture a little bit, makes it a little bit more, like I said, light and airy. Mmm. Definitely a different consistency. It kind of gives me whipped cream, cool whip consistency, but the chocolate and the peanut butter flavor is on point. It tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup. So last but not least is the Ghost Protein Powder Chips Ahoy. This one, I think I'm going to make it a little bit more of a milkshake consistency, and then we're going to do probably the best mix-in of today's video. So this one is a little bit looser consistency, which is what I was going for, more of a milkshake style. We're going to add in some of the Chips Ahoy dessert toppings. I mean, is that not the perfect accompaniment to this? So I'm going to add in one tablespoon of the Chips Ahoy, and then I'm just going to spin it quickly on mix-in just to get those mixed in. May or may not be really excited about this. It's thick like a milkshake, but definitely more runny than ice cream. Wow, that is really good. That may be one of my favorites. The chunks of Chips Ahoy are still there, so you get the crunch. And then the Chips Ahoy protein powder is so good. I am definitely making this again in ice cream form because this is 
so good. So those are all five recipes for the Ninja Creamy that I wanted to share with you today. Don't forget that there's other options on the machine like gelato and sorbet and smoothie bowls. I will be sharing a lot of other recipes down the road, just plugged into other videos like my what I eat in a days, maybe in a meal prep, I might do a smoothie bowl recipe. So definitely stay tuned for more, but I wanted to share with you some fun ways to use the ice cream feature of the Ninja Creamy because Let's be honest, everybody likes ice cream. Thank you for joining me for today's Ninja Creamy video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all five recipes. They are all amazing, and I can't wait to try more and more and more recipes, so stay tuned for future videos. Maybe what I eat in a day is I'll include some of the different recipes that I try, but I can't recommend the Ninja Creamy enough. It's a great way to have low-point, low-calorie, macro-friendly ice cream anytime you want it that's loaded with protein. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here, and check out that description box for everything I shared with you today, including the Ninja Creamy, the recipes, the links and discounts to my favorite things, my nutrition coaching website, and my Facebook group. Come and join us. Happy Sunday, friends, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's meal prep. Bye.